ಎರಡು ತ್ರಿಭುಜಗಳ ಕೋನ ಕೋನ ಸಮರೂಪತೆಯ ನಿರ್ಧಾರದ ಗುಣವನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಯೋಣ Hello children today we'll do an activity for that as you can see we have drawn two triangles on the board so first of all what we have to do we'll draw a line segment BC and EF so the length of BC is equal to 15 cm and length of EF is 25 cm now at point b we will measure which is equal to 40 degrees and at point e again we will measure which is also equal to 40 degrees so we will measure again at point c and point f which is equal to 60 degrees as you can see so you can see this is equal to 60 degrees now bp and qc intersect at a point so we'll name it as a and er and fs also intersect at a point which we'll name it as d now let's consider two triangles that is triangle abc and triangle d E, F. We know that angle B which is equal to angle E and both are equal to 40 degrees. Similarly, we also know that angle C and angle F is equal to 60 degrees. So now let us measure angle A and angle D. So angle A is equal to 80 degrees. Similarly, we will measure angle D which is also equal to 80 degrees as you can see from here. Angle A is equal to angle D which is equal to 80 degree. So now what can we conclude from this? We can say that corresponding angles of these two triangles are equal. Now let's measure the corresponding sides. So BC by EF is equal to 15 by 25 which is equal to 3 by 5 which can also be written as 0 0.6. Now let us measure AB by So AB by DE which is equal to 15 by 23 is approximately 0 0.65. Now let us measure AC by DF. So first we will measure AC is equal to 10 cm and DF is equal to 16 cm. So we will record it 10 by 16 which is equal to approximately 0 0.62. So you can observe here children that BC by EF is equal to AB by DE which is equal to AC by DF which is approximately 0 0.6. So what can we conclude from this? We can say that corresponding sides are in proportion. So what does this lead to? So this activity leads us to the criteria for similarity of two triangles which is referred as AA criteria.